Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Top 5. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and join me as I count down the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Number 5, 1996. Gentleman Chris Adams defeats Iceman King Parsons in Dallas, Texas to win the Global Wrestling Federation North American Heavyweight title. Number 4, 1978. Kevin Von Erich defeats Bruiser Brody in Fort Worth, Texas to win the NWA American Heavyweight title, ending Brody's third reign. Number 3, 1991. Jushin Thunder Lager defeats Brian Pillman to win the WCW light heavyweight title in Atlanta, Georgia. Number 2, 1902. Dom McLeod defeats Tom Jenkins in Massachusetts to win the American heavyweight title for a second time. The match was actually stopped and Jenkins forfeited the title to McLeod due to problems with his leg, later diagnosed as blood poisoning. Number 1, 1991. Wilbur Snyder passes away. An American football player and professional wrestler, Snyder's wrestling debut occurred during football's 1953 offseason. He was trained by Sandar Savo and Warren Bockwinkel in Southern California in 1954. Snyder retired from football completely to pursue a full-time career in wrestling. Part of his in-ring persona included the use of many football tactics, and it garnered Snyder a lot of national attention. He had already been a regional champion in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, when he made a name for himself by defeating Vern Gagne and winning the United States Championship at the Marigold Arena in Chicago on April 7, 1956. And that's our list. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.